I'm working my way through the tweets. I had, I had, I'll do the proper links that are needed for the Tech Exeter show, but different ones are coming up. Russell Prue, that's Ru- Russell Prue, all one word, as um, as Twitter, or Russell Prue dot radio will find his his Sunday lunchtime show. Although here he's mentioning ChiltonRadio.net as a way of finding it. Um, he's, he's, he's plugging vinyl. The last, the last hour is all done from vinyl. And it goes, it's, it's going out over 22 heritage radio stations. So this is, this is where we're getting confused, perhaps. With, with um, Chris Norton on the, on the Wild Show, so with John some of the time, we've been going to BET. BET is a technology show for schools. But the universities and FE attend it as well, to a growing extent. And Russell's been doing bet radio there. Um, he's, he's had a, a stand or some space with a, a certain amount of radio equipment, final decks at certain points, and um, he, he's mostly been been welcoming guests from schools I would say not so many from universities and FE and um, we've, we've been lucky enough to, to, to be guests as well and they've arranged, JD stays in Exeter if you, if you listen to the Wild Show you'll know, you'll know he is the producer and uh, he has to do the presentation as well when, when Chris and I are in, in Excel in London and um, he manages to, to organise it with Russell so that the show goes out about, only about a quarter of an hour, but, uh, both, in, both from Bet and Exeter. But I, d- I don't think this is going to work. It seems to me Russell's... Something, something's happened with Bet, and they've got their own sorts of radio or the other arrangements for radio or podcasting. I think they've decided podcasts are the way forward, and Russell's definitely starting with radio um, so well, I think he's, he's made up of spots so he's saying enjoy the decorator the chef the author the parent coach and the queen of craft so these are these are guest spots throughout the three hours and I think the only one that's offering a bit of scope to, to link up with Bet is going to be the parent coach I think that that might be where this advice about um, trying to minimise the use of mobile phones or look out for dangers, all of, all of which is quite true. I just think that um, there's there's a there's a positive to some of this that could be considered, and all, also YouTube. Perhaps that is going to get easier. I think. The show is is uh, perhaps it's on Mixcloud. I'm not sure where you find it, but um, social media anyway. I think it would be much easier for Russell to to mention that as part of part of radio. Uh, anyway, I'm slowly working up. My... I'm, I'm doing doing all right. I can I can mention all the tweets I've I'd meant to mention. Um, where's this? Yeah, here's one. Uh, which is a little bit off topic, but it, it's still part of my concerns. The student accommodation is mentioned by the Extra Observer. It's been dismissed at appeal. That's the one in Pennsylvania Road, uh, upheld by the inspector, citing community balance policy. So I, ju- I just mentioned this because. Um, this is where we start. We, st- we got slightly interested. Well, this is where we got um, interested in the policy that the university might have about moving online or how much student accommodation will be needed, because student accommodation has been an issue for people in Exeter and pe- people who just happen to live in Exeter for quite a long time, and it just it just seems that. Um, the question of, of how long it's going to be needed isn't 
isn't looked at. Um, sim similar for lecture halls or library buildings. In other words, if, if, if learning moves online, will it be similar to retail or office space, both of which accelerated during the during lockdown towards um, less less space being being needed but that that debate doesn't seem to happen around um, student accommodation or higher education or if it does it's not as explicit as it as it might be but Anyway, I, 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 in terms of the Tech Extra conference, I think that's just in, in background because the the way it's the the, the um, issues are, are, are being being raised is is a, about on online. I'm, I'm basing the, do, do, Dr. Shirley Atkinson has has replied to an, an inquiry. She's doing a talk. Let me just get the the schedule up. Her her talk is at um, twelve o'clock on Friday. Uh, higher education in the AI landscape. But I, I I I sent an email just asking a little bit about the background to it, to what's going on, and she it's not it's not really her job to answer these questions. But her her understanding is that. Uh, Online is seen as an important extra, but not a replacement for the the campus model, and uh, so I think that the, there will be digital technology, but it's not it's not seen as any sort of fundamental change at, at this time, which is is fair enough. I'll get so, try try and get more understanding of what how that might work, but I, I do think. Given the amount of student accommodation that's being built in Exeter, um, what, how how long will it be needed for? Um, I, I just sort of put that put that into into background.